Well, I want another cup, but do I need another cup? Hmm. Yeah, I think I do. I think I do. <laughs> that was a burp. Is there any difference in a belt and a burp? Or are they one and the same? You know, there is something so peaceful, uh, rain. I don't know, you know, I don't know how to describe it. In a swamp, you wouldn't want to go walking down through there. But then again, I wish I could go down through there. Maybe on a little kayak or canoe or something. There is sure a bunch of cypress knees in there. All that's going to be gone though. They're, it's on the drawing board. They're going to fill all that in. Cut all them trees and make a retention pond. And this road that I'm on, that's going to be done away with and it's going to be moved further over that way. Um, but boy, somebody's going to get a, some nice cypress trees out of that, some nice cypress lumber. And them trees are old. Cypress trees don't grow. You know, I have never noticed that little sign tacked up there on the tree. It's been there a while. I can't even make out what it says. How in the world did they get up there to do that? Alright, yeah, yeah, there's some nice cypress trees in there. There's another one I missed. Kind of shame they're going to do away with this. Before it was illegal, it was considered a wetland. And that's why nobody could never build nothing on it. But now the counties took a notion they're going to make it a retention pond. So there you go. The people, you, they tell you what to do or what you can't do. But they'll go right behind you and do what they want to do with it. Um, I don't know, uh, could you call that progress? Ah, there goes that water bird. 
Okay, I'm gonna go over here and see if I can get them cans from Caroline. Yeah, I sure appreciate it. I, I, every time I come by or something, I don't see you out here working or anything, and I'll mention you on my YouTube video. I say, well, Caroline's not in today. <laughs> But just set them right here, and I'll I'm gonna finish drinking my coffee. Okay, well, let me try. And how's your daughter doing? She's doing all right. Um, she's she found out that she's gonna have uh, she's got some um got what? She's got some cervical neck problems. Really? Yeah. So we're gonna. She's too young for that. Yeah. She had an automobile accident when she was twenty. And um, she hasn't been, it hasn't been good ever since. So um, they're talking about, well, a couple of the doctors, or her chiropractor and her doctor both, well, her doctor, not a chiropractor, talking about surgery. She's not in for that. She's not ready for that, so. Well, how old is she? She's 50, she'll be 55 this month. I mean, no, uh, this year. 55 okay. this year. Well, I've been looking at that um, channel, the, the what's it called, Painted Ravens. Yeah, I've what been, do you think? I've been looking at some of that. That's interesting. Good music. Yeah. Uh, they do everything. They do the music. They do the background. They do the playing. They create the music. They create the whole thing. It's mm -hmm. all them. They don't get anybody else on there but them. How did she get started in something like that? Well, her partner, the uh, the one that plays the guitar, her name is Annette. She's originally painted Raven. Mm -hmm. And then um, Holly uh, got interested in the flute and went into a contest uh, that Annette was judging. And Annette felt that she was good enough to be part of Painted Raven, so she invited her to be a part of Painted Raven, and that's how it started. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you're a widow, right? Yes. How long has your husband been gone? Oh, about 10 years. 10 years. That's about how long my wife's been. And my wife's been gone 12 years now. Yeah. I ain't never going to get used to that. Just ain't. 48 years and all of a sudden she ain't there. <laughs> best for me. But, uh, yeah. Do y'all still do work out there in that little island on the street there? Well, we're supposed to, but I haven't been out there doing the damn thing this whole summer. Yeah. Mess. Yeah. Yeah, I, I come in here every time I come through, but I'm kind of skittish of this street out here in the road because that have you ever noticed that blind lady walking down there with a cane and everything? She got run over out there uh, about, let's see, a little over a week and a half ago. Didn't hurt her bad, but she got hit. Pickup so truck sorry. run into her. I'm surprised it didn't happen before down. Uh, She's all, all time walking in the road. Yeah, she, I've, seen her, I've seen her as far over as Walmart mm -hmm. and stuff walking. I don't. I know her. She lives in my neighborhood. She's Korean. Yeah. And um, but when she told me that, boy, that makes me pay real close attention out there. Well, people don't see motorcycles or, walk, or walkers or scooters. They don't see it. Just their mind sees. Mm -hmm. They see a car or a truck, but they don't see anything else. They look at it, look right at it, and not see it. Yeah. Well, dear, I'm going to let you go. All righty. And I appreciate it. Now I'll good. just. Now, you know, you come on up here anytime you're around. Okay. Be, whatever we have will be out here. Okay. Well, I certainly appreciate it. All Now I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do this. I'll get her done, though. Yeah. Oh, Lordy. Hard to get up. Yeah. Oh, yep. Uh, let's see. I bet I didn't bring my... 
I hadn't been seeing too many cans out here lately. I haven't either, really. Um, but um, used to, I'd see some over here in the island, but um, hadn't. Uh, oh, you've already got them hooked. Well, that'll work. Now I know how I'll do it. Just like that. That's right. All right. Well, you can All right. Care of yourself. Well, tell your daughter I said hi. I hope she's getting feeling better. Yeah, she's. This has been plaguing her for over 30 years, and now it's getting to the point where they want to get yeah. around in there, but she's not for that. I'm not for it either, but I don't want her to be paralyzed. Okay, dear. Okay. I'll see you later. Oh, I'm, that might not work. Let me see what I can do here. I'll get it figured out. Oh, I see what. That's how I'll have to do that. Okay. I would say I have got a load. Now y'all got to meet Caroline. She's a sweetheart. I think so. She's a sweetie. Now. You know, I caught a little something in the conversation there. Her daughter, I don't know, it don't concern me, but her daughter might be gay. So she said her daughter's partner Annette and Annette is a lady um you know I have mixed thoughts on that that subject but it is what it is but you know I would like sometime to sit down and talk to actually a man homosexual and a woman homosexual and I would like just to ask them questions about how that come about I mean when did they figure they something wasn't the way it normally is and stuff like I would like to talk about that you know ask them but I don't want to act like I'm offended or anything like that because I'm not uh, I 
I don't know, just a slow. I may try to do that one day. Well, can you see my load back there? <laughs> I hope it ain't dragging. If it starts dragging, I'm gonna have cans falling out. I think my arm's gonna be asleep by the time I get to the house because I got my arm slipped through that tie on that last bag to keep it off the ground. There, is that a belt or is that a burp? Or maybe it was a deformed pickup. That was nice seeing Carolina. But that lady that first came to the door, I thought that was Carolina. I couldn't see her good. And I said, hey, Carolina. And in the house she went. And we was talking about her husband and how long he's been gone. And I was talking to my, she said her husband passed about 10 years ago. And I talked, well, I've been a widow since for 12 years and how hard it was and everything and she said something uh, to she said something to this the gist of it was it was the best thing or something like that so that could that's a lot of lines to read between. So, I suppose if I knew her better, I could get into that. But, I don't know her that good, you know. I've just known her for a couple of months, three months. How you doing, sir? So... Yeah, I think I'm gonna, you know what, I, I don't like not having coffee. I've got some coffee there at the house, but it's an, it's an off-brand and it's some kind of flavored coffee that, nah, I ain't gonna buy no coffee, I'll let my daughter do that. That's part of my room and board. <laughs> um, There's a lot to read. You know, the world is just full of people and every one of us has stuff that's going on. All right, I'm on make a mad dash for the road here stay off of that grass <laughs> 